from Namibia. So we will just uh, provide it where we are working. First, word. What is a word? So word is a sound, letters, or letters that has a meaning. And then the word class is what is class? Class is a kind or type. So if we are if we will be joined together, word class could be a words or different types of words. Um, in your in your previous year level, right? Then somehow we reach the standard. In your junior high school, we are you already talk, um, talked about this, but and I'm pretty sure that you are still not quite familiar. But you are more familiar of part of speech, I guess. So it is called also as part of speech. So in our uh, word classes has two class. It is an open, open and closed word classes. So what occurs open class to closed class? So here's uh, as you can see here, an uh, other open class. There's a term lexical words, and other it is nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. Well, the other hand, closed class has a term functional words, and other it is determiners, conjunction, prepositions, and pronouns. First, open class. It's just like in a, in a business industry, front row, for example, that's open minded, right? So, being an open minded, open -minded person, it's also like a being an under the open class words, which is, which is or wherein uh, words under the open class can be flexible and can be used as another one. You get the point? Yes. That uh, the term flexible means meaning, or flexible words means words with meaning. So uh, a noun, a verb, adjective, and an adverb can mean a thing, right? And then for instance, there is also an instance that a noun could be a wait, a verb could be a noun, and then an adjective could be an adverb. So they are flexible. Unlike in closed class or closed minded, and this is interesting, it is um, somehow stagnant or focus only on one on one role or purposes, unlike in an open class. And functional words means um, functions, and it it. Just also function with an with a lexical word, or you can have these functional words or closed class words without the presence of um, a word from open class. Do you get the point? Yes. Okay, so we will focus more about the, the noun and the verb. So first, what is a noun? So please read, guys. Sand, salt, 
although uh, any other things that cannot be counted or cannot be seen with our naked eye. Concrete nouns are nouns that can experience through the senses. Or, for example, sorry, table, music, bag, uh, pad, ball, pen, pen, and work. Abstract nouns, nouns that, that refer to concept or ideas. Um, some of us, some of us are um, kind of kind of confused where in where to place happiness, love, jealousy, and some other virtues. Is it in verb, adjective, or or adverb or noun? So um, just remember that um, it can also be an abstract noun. It can, it can also be an adjective or an adverb. Next is coll collective nouns. It, um, these are the nouns that refer to the collective of groups. For example, um, very the staff teams of, for example, um, school of fishes or murder of crowds. Like it's um, for a group. You are referring to a group. Next is agent nouns. Nouns for the person doing an action. For example, a player, dancer. Agent nouns are commonly used in <coughs> in some documentaries. Com compound nouns, nouns that form from two or more nouns. So two phase, we are also familiar with that since three to like this. Like noun nouns, nouns that are commonly paired. So fish and chips, open glory, mango, and fish things like that. So now we're now we're with verbs. With verbs. So verbs are defined as doing words or action words. So um, main verb or these are the types of verbs. Main verbs identifies that the action of the sentence. Example, I see in a bag. So you can see um, you can see very easy that the verb is the same. Primary auxiliaries used to attach the main verbs. So auxiliaries are meaning verbs or helping verbs. It helps to modify the verb. So if, in this case, if, in the example, I am running, the verb here is running, then the primary auxiliary or the linking verb really uses am. Okay. It can also be a was, is, are, or anything else. As well as it is a main verb. Okay. Next, modal auxiliaries can be used alongside the main verb. Um, just like a primary auxiliary is what? Um, the difference between the modals and the, um, the primary auxiliaries is modals can, um, can you, um, is referring to uh, the future possibility or um, an event. Next, please. Infinitive, the phrase that combines the word to be the, be the word. So it's as easy as that. Um, if, if it has to, um, to play or to swing, to dance, to sing, then it's called an infinitive. Simple present. Present tense from the, the from form of the verb. I run, he runs, he plays. So we have, because in present tense, um, it also matters of um, the noun you are using. So next is simple past, past expression of the verb. Um, some, of, some of the verbs are, uh, we, should, we usually add ee -E for the past tense. And sometimes there are irregular verbs that um, we, we rearrange the spelling. Next slide, please. So, um, present participle, past participle, and past participle. What, what different, uh, what different, differentiate them? So, it's just um, past participle is the name for using conjunction with the auxiliary have. So, by using have, it is called uh, past participle. Dynamic verbs are verbs that indicate changing action. Or in art, uh, they can also, um, they can also call uh, progressive verbs or progressive verbs. Next slide. Stated verb, transitive verb, and intransitive verb. Stated verb is, is just like um, the first verb or main verb. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, the same. The transitive verb can take a direct object. Um, it all uh, it talks, um, Direct object means a uh, verb, verb person or a noun. So that's all.